Hey guys, what is up? It's Dusty here, back with another crypto video. Today, we're going to be focusing on Ripple and XRP. To start off here, XRP Euphoria on Twitter says, I've decided to trim the fat in our budget to buy more XRP. Fired my limo driver, downsizing my personal security team from 8 to 4. Using the private jet only on Tuesdays. No, but on a serious note, I did stop eating at Taco Bell. So share what you've given up to buy more XRP. I'm actually quite interested to see what you guys uh, have given up to get yourself more XRP or to, you know, given up to invest into cryptocurrency slash invest more. Like, like, what have you given up? Most people will answer just time, which is a general, yeah, general answer, because that's mostly what you're giving up to earn more money to invest more. But what have you done to buy more XRP? Let me know. Roses on the Moon says on Twitter, If you're going to buy your family or friends XRP for Christmas, do it this week while the Black Friday discount is on. These prices won't stay low for long. And I actually find that a really good example of what's going on right now. And I will most likely make a video surrounding this in a couple of weeks if the prices stay low as this is again an amazing gift. XRP, amazing Christmas gift right now at Black Friday prices with some crazy discount. At least that's how I like to see it. Because XRP below 25 cents, from our perspective, you're not going to see that that often anymore. So all of this is just mwah, très bien, perfect. Sir Gordon Gecko on Twitter says, Two years to the day that BTC was $7,800. Two years to the day XRP was 0.23. Let that sink in real deep. So, I, at first, I thought it was saying that it has been two years since um, BTC actually was at 7,800. But when I <laughs> looked inside the back of my head, he most likely means that two years ago at this point, uh, BTC was 7,800. Now, I actually don't think that's true. But, all right, um, we're just going to assume it is because he tweeted it out and... Uh, you know, I, I can believe it. And two years ago to this date, XRP was 23 cents. But if we actually check, somebody says it's going to be something else or no? No, no, no. Here in December, it was 75. Yeah, most likely that was true as well. About 23 cents for XRP around this time. And I guess BTC was about 7,800 at this time. It's just something fun to realize that our time is crazy and that prices do something that most people don't really expect. I mean, who would have expected that? Two years ago that exactly in two years the prices were going to be at the exact same time but a fun fact is that was all before the bull run and really a month later people wished they had bought at this point two years ago people wished that they could have ever bought bitcoin at eight thousand again or xrp at 23 cents again when it was at almost four dollars right now you have that chance again like this is 2017 vibes 2017 times get that in the back of your head guys Lionel46294, oh my days, Lord Lionel on Twitter says, Another bank down for maintenance this weekend. Hashtag XRP the standard. DBS also, it says here. So what this is about is, again, pretty amazing. Um, but it says this again, and I'm assuming that this has been, you know, uh, shown a ton of times before. Nothing happened, no, no, no. But I just wanted to quickly show you guys that there's tons of banks going into maintenance, and there's tons of, you know, um enthusiasm most likely also some fud and some hype going on because when banks go into maintenance nine out of ten times or 99 out of 100 or 9999 wait 99,999 times out of 10,000 possibly even i don't know let's, let's let's size it down a little bit 999 times out of a thousand it's not going to be for ripple or for specifically not for xrp right and maybe it could be ripple but specifically not for xrp so if you're seeing maintenance at one of your banks even if they're doing something with instant transfers or something like that, most likely not going to be Ripple, specifically not XRP, but maybe at one point uh, it will. But yeah, I'm just saying it. Is, this is just hyping yourself up, but it's not necessary or useful as most of the time it's not really what's going on. Echoes XRP or something like that says, I would honestly love to see the scam Bitcoin crash and just get lost, even if it means or meant alts crashing near zero. At least we could start again and build assets up with real use case. Pump and dump scam coin. I'm wondering for you guys, what do you think about Bitcoin? Do you think it's stupid? Do you think it's really insane that people still invest in it? Or do you think 
you know, it has some good potential or it could be a coin that's going to do good in the future or anything related to that. Like, I'm just wondering to see or trying to sketch a, a general opinion of the people that are watching this channel to see how they consider Bitcoin and if they would like to receive updates on it or if they're completely against the coin uh, at all costs. Just wondering a little bit of what they think about that. Michael Ipinky7 on Twitter says, boom. And this boom, I've seen a ton of times before. Now, this is actually a reply to Ripple, Ripple XR Pi on Twitter, Jack the Rippler, whom I've shown thousands of times on my channel already, who's been tweeting a ton of positive and amazing content. Um, but he said on Twitter, everyone will use XRP. And then again, added the picture of Brad Gollinghouse over at Swell, who said, enable payments everywhere, every way, for everyone. I'm saying it loud because it's in capital letters. And yeah, I'm just kind of amazed and also... No, not sad, but it's funny. I'm amazed by how much people are liking this, this little one picture. Also amazed that they actually set this because it's really eye-opening and really inspiring. But also kind of sad that people are still saying boom about the situation that happened uh, like a couple of weeks ago already. Like, um, yeah, two weeks ago almost. Because you're just trying to possibly hype it up a little bit again, even though there's nothing new going on or anything. Just the fact that everyone will use XRP is now certain, and people are, you know, just reminding us of that again, which from that perspective is quite positive and pretty cool, because, um, yeah, everybody will use XRP, period. That's that's what they're trying to state. Tron Lady on Twitter, I actually don't know exactly why I still have a Tron article in the middle, but hey, why not? You guys are not against Tron, right? Tron Lady says on Twitter, according to Justin Sun, Tron, 2020 Neutron Summit, which is the annual uh, summit for Tron, where Ripple has Swell, Tron has Neutron, and last year they had Kobe Bryant, where Ripple had, uh, I forgot the name, well, whatever. Summit will be held in Seoul, South Korea. This reminded me of, I'm having Bill Gates in my head, but I don't remember, Bill Clinton, that's it. This reminded me of some highlights of Neutron Summit 2019 in San Francisco. Let's have a review and look forward to the upcoming event. And I'm wondering, would they want to invite me? You know, because... I think last year I got a couple of invites to a couple of uh, Tron summits in my, not mailbox, but it, yeah, I think mailbox as well and on Telegram here and there and here and there. But I'm wondering now if they want to invite me again to some event like this because I've not been covering Tron too much. And last year I was really most likely the biggest Tron guy out there just because I really love the project, really love the energy. I really love what they're doing, but just wondering to see what they're thinking about that. I I'm not going to get a reply, but just thought I should throw up a ball. Alazan111 on Twitter says, RippleNet Home is the tool that will drive the mass adoption. View your markets and the ones where you could expand your business. See your potential partners and connect with them. I think this might well be the business killer app. If you're a EU company and your solar panel provider, SPP, is Chinese and not on RippleNet Home, you find another equivalent SPP who is on RippleNet Home. You can ask your current SPP, Move to RippleNet Home, otherwise I'll deal with another SPP. What do you think the current SPP will do? Go to RippleNet Home. I don't completely understand exactly how this works or, or why that is the case, but it sounds pretty interesting, and I guess to a lot of people it most likely makes some sense. He has <laughs> self-proclaimed PhD Masters in XRP Ledger. I like that. I'm going to give him a follow for that one. I like, <laughs> I like what he says right there. I solve all your XRP issues. Lost XRP, rejected from UNL, wrong decision to detect. A lot of things he most likely can do for you. I don't know if exactly what he says right here is exactly what he wants or does, but I just find that an interesting title to give himself. So, got to give him some kudos for that and, um, you know, uh, follow him. Crypto Nichols on Twitter says, Ripple Twitter followers, about 1 million. World's population, about 7.7 .7 billion. Only 0.01% knows about what potential XRP holds. Be proud to be one of them. So this is actually a reply to my previous video in which I said, are you holding what, are you holding what 99% don't? Because in that video, we also briefly came back to the fact that at least 99% of the world have never heard of this crypto XRP before, but most likely 99% plus of the world are not holding this, which is definitely the case. Um, and actually, in reality, only 0.01% of the world most likely have heard about it, which means that 0.005 or something like that percent of the world probably holds it, or maybe even less than that, because I don't know how many people that would be, but you guys get it. There's just a very small amount of people that are actually holding this coin, 
And that really makes you a lot more special than you might believe. Like within the Google or the dot com times, I should say, uh, there's been a couple of other times as well. There have been so many opportunities for people to invest, right? Bluetooth, you could have invested in a long time ago. There's a ton of different things. And the reason some people are not that mad that they didn't invest or that they are mad is that they, that they didn't invest is because so many people became rich. The fun fact about it is, though, that there were tons of people who did invest. Tons of people, most likely a ton of people in this case, I mean, like at least 100,000 people, maybe not a lot of money, but they didn't invest. And they're bum hurt, butt hurt because they're not like one of the big richest guys in the world. They're not, not like, oh, I could have been so rich, yada, yada. But if you look back, Bitcoin, there were tons of people who also invested in Bitcoin back in 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, but that are not really just driving around the, the Twitter with their Lambos on Twitter. <laughs> just joking a little bit there. It's just you don't really see them that, that much. If you had the chance to buy Bitcoin back in that time, but you didn't, there were tons of people who also didn't, you know, who, who had the chance but didn't. It's not that crazy. And the fun fact that we're the 0.01% that now has the chance and actually has taken it doesn't mean that there won't be more people who are going to take this benefit or doesn't mean that, you know, there's, there's, what I'm just trying to say with that is we're just ridiculously lucky to get this opportunity. And even 0.005 or whatever percent that we are at, it's ridiculously low over percentage, but it's going to be quite normal. With this group, we can definitely get freaking loaded, all of us. So we're going to stay positive with all of this stuff. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, make sure you press the like button. I'll see you guys again in another video.